Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to revisit um, an old note in Spreadshirt. Um, it's basically the one that's dealing with text or typography. It's called Typography Weaver. So in uh, in Spreadshirt, this is this note. That's the one that's gonna create text object. So if you have something like a note object, uh, you can type hello or just like a lowercase and then plug this into the text and you're gonna have uh, 3d text okay let's save this very quickly this is typo so this is pretty neat right you can uh, replace this with anything and you can combine a bunch of this text uh, node object using list join so combine these two and join level two and then you just plug this in now you have two texts and you can also write like apple or blender blender donut yeah it's just gonna keep generating text and it, this is like a um, multiple objects pipe into this object so you can have like a random vector for positions and you can plug it in plug this in and we have how many objects five we can count it using list length so we get the data here and we can check it out okay what's the, the data okay it's number it's five because we have a total of five texts and we can just plug this into the count so we have five texts that we generate manually and yeah we just convert it into this there's actually a neat thing in spreadshop called string tools with string tools you can do you can actually add more like uh, for example I'll just add banana so now each one of them has have banana but maybe in my case i want to uh split okay or just make it like capitalize or make it uppercase yeah so i can do anything like that but that's like a manual way to generate text maybe you want something that's a little bit more uh, generative or automatic so we have this something like random word generator online so can you can generate for example 20 words right this is like random totally random words if you copy this text you bring it into blender into the text objects now if you want to use this how do we do that we can use text in in spreadshop we can specify this text and specify the text just load it and from here we can Let's see, this is the random words. This is the list length. You can use the string tools and separate the text using the split lines. Okay, split lines. And if we plug this in, uh, we're gonna have this list. Okay, this is, uh, this is not wrong. You just need to collapse the text using list level kind of a uh, advanced but you basically play around with the list in sphere chalk and you just flatten it you need to flatten it and then after you flatten the text you want to use this length to generate a random position okay so we have the text you might see okay this is not 3d right you want to use extrude now the text become 3d and this is something that you can play around also inside geometry nodes because okay if we if we are really tidy we can use group so we group this under a single collection so if we want to scatter it on the on the donut using geometry nodes we can now do that fairly easily okay so instance collection use 
to use alpha. This is the fastest way to do this. Okay, you can also use point distribute. And you can hide the original collections. Okay, pretty neat, right? You can also center the text, things like that. I think using the string tools. Yeah, I don't, maybe don't worry about that. Um, what's another thing that I forgot to mention? Oh yeah, you can also, this is the text in object. You can also use something like this, notes. If you have text like this, hello world, this text is separated by space. This is a single string. You can use string tools and split split the word automatically using this. Okay, now it's actually not doing the thing properly. We need to split it. We need to make this maximum split to minus one. So now it's splitting the text properly. If you look at it here. There. Hello world, this text is separated by space. Okay. So now everything seems to be working and nice. We can try a different words. Make 100. Generate random words. Okay, maybe too much. Nouns. Okay. I think the most convenient is something like this. You have list of text and you just reload it and plug this in. Now we are using the text that we just created. Um, center. Oh yeah, I think the text also can be centered over here with the alignment center. Okay, now it's nice and tidy and we have this text that we can generate and randomize on anything. Pretty cool and simple and it's pretty fast as well because because we are using geometry nodes for instancing. This is, this is like super fast. and you can just scale it and then apply the scaling we have all the text now being generated okay and you can change the the font i believe um yeah and then this is the whole setup basically so you have again let me summarize you can generate the text type it manually and then just join it using this list join that's one way second way you can use text separated by space and also the third way you can use list of text that you separate it using split lines and all the way into this typography alpha this is to generate uh, text objects for use inside geometry nodes all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye